so this is bmsc and it was founded in 1946 so you can understand this for independence college and this is uh, located in bangalore and uh, which is around from bmsc is around 5 kilometers from this main railway station in bangalore right 30 uh, this college is about 30 acres so this is accredited a++ college right and this was that's the reason it is top 3 best engineering colleges in bangalore as well as karnataka Apart from that, it is VTU affiliated. VTU, which is in Belgaum, affiliated college, right? It's an autonomous college since 2008. And just from the address perspective, you know, this is the location from Baswan Gudi where the college is located. And in case you need to call, talk with the college, these are the phone numbers and the email IDs you can use to interact. Now, coming to the infrastructure part of it, this college has a very good amount of infrastructure. You can see the pictures of the, you know. Uh, from to from the classrooms to the you know, library right you can see where there's an ample amount of space and all the, all the auditoriums and um, seminar halls etc are very good so again the very good green campus you can this is about the main the data center or the lab view mba college is started in 1992 so mba is around 30 years into this college and the total intake capacity of mba course is 120 and it's affiliated to vitu belgam this is the mba infrastructure right so out of the total part this is the facility for mba college you can see here big conference halls as well as the auditoriums these are some of the classes where you know group discussion and the other so things happen right? these are some other more pictures of the classrooms for the mba part of it so this is some more features with respect to library and the computer center within the mba department now talking about the mc department Now this this MCA department is even older than the MBA department and it was started in 84 85 so MCA is there in for last 40 years and earlier the you know seat was uh, 930 now the MCA seat has increased to 60 right the duration of MCA program was earlier 3 years now it is reduced to 2 years and for MCA program they do have accreditation as i said for 5 years as well as they have a lot of industry visits and on teaching and learnings around emerging technologies as i show iot and all those parts and they have a innovation cluster lab icl where a lot of good books and the uh, good analytics data analytics courses happens right so this is the mca part of it and mca um, library your uh, infrastructure for computers and uh, mca teaching pedagogy right basically so uh, admission part of it so both mba and mca are done through many exams for example mba you have more options cmat mat pg set similarly for mca you have many options either kmat which is for private and pg set for government seats so any for those both the mba and mca you have to appear pg set or kmat right this is the fee structure not for pg set but for the management part so if you are taking management fees the mba is 2.5 mca is 2 lakhs normal pg set fees will be around 1 lakh right 1 lakh per year these are the management fees right if management quota fees 2.5 lakhs and 2 lakhs for both the branches right which you are reviewing mba and mca so now this is a cut off for mba part of it and you have seen my video i have reviewed 50 top mba colleges and this is in the first sheet so cut off is under 500 so if your rank is under 500 for mba you'll get it similarly for mba mca it should be under 400 So even the 300, 400 ranks, then only you will can do MCA in this college. So now coming to the placements for MCA. So I am showing you five years data. This is the first three years data. So in 2018, uh, around you know 42 offers were there, and total 27 students got placed. So the placement percentage was 49 percent. In 2019, placement increased rapidly, and uh, there were around 30 students who got placed, and the total offers were 42, so 96 percent placement, which was good an improvement. And in 2020, uh, 32 students got placed with the total offers 36, and the percentage was around 61 percent students got placed in MCA. Let me show you 2021 and 2022 placement. Let's see in 2021. You can see the overall placement. UG thousand students gets placed every year, and MCA around 50 to 23 students out of 54. MBA around 52. So it's get placed. Now let's see the 2022, which was the latest placement. So for PG, which is a your MBA and MTech course, the total students placed were 111 for MBA and MTech. And which percentage was seventy three percent overall? So MBA seventy three percent placement, and for the MCA students, you can see seventy four students got placed out of total batch size of hundred and twelve. So if you see seventy four out of hundred and twelve is around seventy six percentage. So you can assume around seventy five percent placement in last year, which is twenty twenty two. 
now the coming to the other facilities so this is the hostel so and these are the some of the sports facilities which are available into the campus a lot of good interaction alumni meet as i said so these are some of the pictures from there some more sports picture so that's what you know um, it is providing you with a good amount of environment but you know based on your call you can take if you want to uh, take this and uh, Hope you have got all the details. I have covered both the MBA and MC in depth as much as possible. So thanks for watching this and please um, do like this video. So please do subscribe the channel.